Lee Derby. The twin spires sit like a crown on the grandstand at Old Churchill Downs, reminding us that all this has been going on for a long time now, since Aristides won the first derby in 1875. Each person here watches with his own eyes, feels with his own memories and emotions. It's Derby Day again. There's something new this year. The old crowded paddock has now become a beer garden, and nearby a new saddling enclosure and walking ring provide a proper, dignified setting for the ceremony. The quietest place in Louisville right now is the barn area on the backstretch. But in those barns are the hopes and dreams of many people focused on the three-year-old horses who will run in the derby today. Soon they'll be led around the track, anonymous naked animals, to re-emerge later through the tunnel in all their colorful silken glory, ready for the most important two minutes of their lives, their one and only chance to win the derby. Good afternoon, I'm Jim McKay welcoming you to Churchill Downs where the temperature is 84 degrees and the crowd is 128,000, bigger than the Super Bowl, bigger than the World Series, one of America's great annual occasions. When I say it's a pleasure to welcome you to the Derby again on behalf of ABC Sports for the 13th consecutive year, you can believe I'm serious about it. Please, and also privileged. You know, you and I get to come to the Derby together each year, every year, but for the horses, for the owners, for the trainers, this is a once-in-a-lifetime shot. One big chance to win the biggest race of all, and that's one of many things that they, makes this a very special day. It's also the beginning of the Triple Crown Series, which has taken on added significance this year, because for the first time, if one horse wins all three, the Derby, the Preakness, and the Belmont, he is guaranteed prize money of $5 million. But I'll also say this, I'll bet the owners in today's race would be willing to pay $5 million if they could just win this one, win the Derby. Up on top of the grandstand with the wind is gusting, my colleague Al.